Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Now, your, your imprints are littered all over the stage, television, and stage of those uh, three areas. Which one is your preference? Theater, of course. Theater is dynamic, it's organic, it speaks to you instantly. And it's a very, very disciplined place to be. You can't be lackadaisical in the theater. You have to know your onions. You can't get there and, and think you can forget your lines. You have to treat your audience with, uh, 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 with deep respect. You have to communicate with them because it's about talking together. It's about offering ideas that they know about. And it's about letting them see, see the ideas in ways they had not thought about or they already knew but somehow you switch on uh, the, the electric bulbs in their heads and then you reach them and as i said with compassion and tolerance that's what develops between you and your audience because even though they're not talking back to you they are listening to you all the time and in fact they are responding to what you're saying Although you are, uh, when you are acting, you don't, you, you uh, theoretically don't see them or know them, but you can feel it. It's called vibes. It's about energy. You can feel the energy emanating from the audience. You're giving it to them and they're giving it back to you. So there is nothing more intoxicating, is the word, than a live theater audience. Because you connect with them, you connect with the audience. Now, as one of the living legends, you know, as far as acting is concerned in Nigeria, what would be your advice to the up and coming actors? Education, education, education. And I'm not, and I don't mean going to university and getting your certificate. You get your certificate, you throw that certificate away and you rewrite the books that you learn. That makes you sparkle like mad. Knowledge, knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge. So that when they, anybody engages you, you can talk about anything, including quantum physics, as I said. You have to be able to, you know. Uh, and any, any parts be given to you, you know that you can you can navigate your way through that. And it shows. You, you, you can't hide it. You cannot give what you don't have. That's it. So, my advice to them is, <laughs> please don't go to theater school and say, I was at UI, I was at theater school. Uh, 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 and, so, and so it's finished. No, it's not finished. It is just started. As, uh, uh, if you see my place where I live, it's all books and books and books. You think I'm some kind of professor. And indeed I am. I am a pastor. I'm an evangelist. Like you have to know about religion. You have to know about all these things. You have to know the Quran. You have to know the Bible. You have to be able to know what it is they're talking about. And so when you meet a, 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 meet a character, you have to play a part. You've come with a, with a canvas that's not totally empty, which will enable you to get more into further research about what you want to do. And as I said, there are no small parts. It's worth talking about small parts. Uh, in 1972, I think it was, uh, Colonel Cruz O'Brien, was the assistant secretary to uh, assistant to the secretary general UN Doug Hammer showed it was when they killed Mumumba. I will ne never forget talking about this. And uh, there were, it was at the Dublin International Festival, and I was giving a part 
no speaking part, not a dialogue, and playing the wife of Patrice Lumumba. Now, because I was then very political, of course I got, I took it. And there is nothing mute about any one of us. We are all, even when we're not talking, we're animated all the time because the brain is wearing about, it's wearing on all the time. So I got this part. And so I said to the producer, the optics is good. Uh, Lumumba's uh, Belgian girlfriend is cuddling me when they came, uh, came to uh, 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 break the news of uh, Lumumba's death to me. I'm weeping copiously and all that. It was a big, bad scene. Fantastic optics. And I said, well, that's fine, because this woman is supposed to be uh, native, you know, not educated, not sophisticated. And so <laughs> this, her husband had just killed her. Her husband was prime minister, and there's this play, and the woman doesn't have anything to say. I said, fine. But I said, before we open, do you mind if I do a dirge for him? Where we go, where we come from, it's always a week, especially for a person like that. Of course, innocently, they said, yes, I should. And that says a, a great deal also for the, for, for, for the ignorance of the European about the depth of our feelings, of our systems, and our culture. So they asked me to do the dirge, and we prepared. Uh, my colleague who was playing my sister, uh, Diana Foster Jones, her name was, uh, she went to uh, Hollywood, uh, not Hollywood, I never heard from her, but then, thereafter. So we prepared this uh, wake keeping, and I, sa and I sang this dirge, which was in Yoruba, which I heard when I was growing up uh, in Ibutimeta, uh, some Alarijo, some traveling uh, theater people used to rehearse in that place. Uh, I never saw them, I've, I've never seen them because there was a fence that I used to listen to them uh, uh, do their rehearsals. And this woman was singing this song about this warrior that had been killed. And I saw Lumumba as the warrior. And, uh, uh, and so I got on stage at the, on the opening night. They didn't need to have rehearsals for me because they didn't think it was important. And I got, and I got, and I sang this dirge. Abogumi yoko mi lugu eru. Abogumi yoko mi lugu wofa. Abogumi yoko mi abiru eshi tiomi tiomi. Bogumba totu wa uko bogunja. Fere kufe. Bogumba tosi wa uko bogunja. Well, if you understand what I'm saying, I'm saying to my warrior hero, war is landed in Africa. This was 1972. Come and rescue us. Well, the long and short of it was my would-be husband, Thomas Lysett was, was in the audience that day. He told me at dinner that night that if a pin dropped, you could, you could hear it. The place was at a standstill. The following day, I was phone cover. I'm the, la I'm the, the smallest part. Talking about knowledge and being alive to what we're doing. That was at the beginning of my career. It was the sensation. I was opening hubs. I was opening up, I was visiting motherless babies' homes. No, seriously, it became something else. That's a small part. That's why we say in the business there are no small parts, only small actors. At the end of the run, Colonel Cruz O'Brien, the playwright, gave me a huge bouquet of flowers uh, and thanking me for doing uh, uh, for the part. What the writer couldn't do. 